The world's hottest pepper grown in Fort Mill, South Carolina, continues to make headlines around the world. Now, more peppers than ever before are now being shipped out of Fort Mill to more than 95 countries. I'm already sweating thinking about this. <laughs> Queen City News reporter Brett Baldeck is here this morning to explain how the pepper was created and the free press now that's helped put this pepper on the map. Brett, good morning. Good morning, NY and Jason. So the Guinness Book of World Records says the Carolina Reaper ranks more than 1.64 million on the Scoville heat unit scale. Now to put that in perspective, a jalapeno is between 2,000 and 8,000 units. The pepper is far too hot for most people like myself to try, but it has put Fort Mill, South Carolina on the map. You won't find Ed Curry, the creator of the Carolina Reaper, in a cushy office. He's often on the outskirts of Fort Mill, down on the farm, sorting Carolina Reapers to meet demand. About 20,000 pounds are shipped across the world every day. I couldn't make this up if I tried. All I was doing was trying to breed some peppers and make salsa and hot sauce for my friends and family. The thing is, Curry did make up the pepper while cross-pollinating them back in 2004, but he wasn't trying to create the world's hottest pepper. I was looking to enhance one of the capsinoids that's in peppers because I truly believe it has medical benefits. From the Fort Mill greenhouse, the peppers are grown in to the downtown storefront opened by Curry in 2009. The record setting peppers have helped make the town world renowned. I had never heard of Fort Mill until this all happened. Guys from Fort Mill, Carolina, let's make some noise. A worldwide TV audience was introduced to Fort Mill in 2020 when the Netflix series, We Are the Champions, filmed a Carolina Reaper eating contest. Bella Peters came down from Ohio to take part. Ed is a legend in the spicy community, and um, I totally fangirled when I first got to meet him, just FYI. She conquered eating these spicy specimens and never left, becoming a brand ambassador for Curry's brand, Pucker Butt Pepper Company. Working for Ed, with this company, getting to eat spicy all day, helping people find their perfect sauce or whatever they want. Um, it's a dream job, it really is. But sometimes dreams have a chance of becoming a nightmare. Curry and his company are familiar with courtrooms. Sometimes lawsuits are filed by those brave enough to eat the peppers. If you're going to try the hottest pepper in the world, you know what you're doing. Curry doesn't sweat the small stuff as the lawsuits are often thrown out. The heat is all in your head. Peppers have no heat. It's a chemical reaction our brain perceives as heat. So even though it's unpleasant to eat a Carolina Reaper, it can't do any damage to your body. So what's next for Ed Curry and his team? Well, the Discovery Channel just recently wrapped up filming an episode of Dirty Jobs with Mike Rowe that will air at a later date. And we were talking about this in the break before. He also provides all the hot sauces for the YouTube TV show Hot Ones where celebrities eat hot food and they get asked questions and he does all the hot sauces for them. Like so that's a little bit yeah. of the behind the camera stuff that he does. So they hooked me up with a few of their hot sauces. Now these are not the Carolina Reaper ones because oh, they know okay. I obviously can't do that. So they have all kinds of sauces at the store. So this one um, is called Peyton's Hot Strawberry and it says on it oh. the heat index is a three so I could do that. And then he told me this green one, uh, Taco Verde is basically Ooh. just Ooh, uh, jalapeno good. and limes and uh, pretty much just kind of a mild sauce. Yeah. But when we're at the store, I will tell you that uh, people from all across the country mark it as a tourist destination. While I was it. there, family from Wisconsin came in and I asked the employees if that's common and they said yes, people from around the world, South Africa, England, will come in, come to Fort Mill just to visit that store. Well, and Fort Mill's known for growing strawberries and all kind of stuff. Like, What's the growing season? Like so they peppers? said for this year, since it's been so hot and warm and has a lot of rain, mm -hmm. they're actually harvesting one month ahead of time. 
and they have all those greenhouses. So things are going great. And while I was there, you may notice they were sorting peppers. Uh -huh. They had to wear gloves. You can't you touch them. To. There it is right there. Oh, He's yeah. wearing gloves right there. Oh, wow. And just filming this, I could smell the heat and it almost gave me a stomach ache. But <laughs> <laughs> if you like hot stuff, it's the place to go. But uh, coming up in our 8.30 half hour, you'll notice that you probably can't find these hot peppers at your local Harris Teeter or Publix. We'll explain why that is and why that may soon change.